I'm seeing Lady F Gaga. Oh. And I leave in an hour. I need like full beat down, full hair and makeup. I know I can do this, but we're gonna have to focus. And I'm sorry I'm starting the vlog off so chaotic. Hey guys, future Nikki here. I can't believe I thought getting ready in only one hour for the concert was gonna be the most chaotic part of this vlog because let me tell you, crazier shit happened. Keep watching. <laughs> I look terrible. Um, you know what, we're gonna start with hair. So I already know what I'm gonna be doing for my hair and makeup for this concert. But the reason why I'm running late today is because I went out and went shopping and got my outfit today. If you guys are Monsters or Lady Gaga fans, you guys know that Lady Gaga was supposed to go on this Chromatica tour, Chromatica ball tour in 2020, but then the pandemic screwed everything up. It is two years later and the Chromatica ball is happening, but today I'm here to tell you guys that I have literally front row tickets to see Lady Gaga. Like it hasn't fully hit me. And I got a plus one and instead of bringing like a significant other or friend, an assistant, I am bringing the other half to my Lady Gaga obsession and that is Gabby. I have to bring Gabby. I have to bring Gabby. So I'm bringing Gabby, we're both going. Let me get a little farther along with my hair and then I'm gonna continue talking. This is so chaotic. So obviously live events are back and my friends over at SeatGeek hooked me up with these Lady Gaga tickets and yeah, we literally have front row. But since live events are back, that means you guys can get $20 off your tickets on SeatGeek.com with my code, Nikki Dimar. Whether it's concerts, sports, festivals, or more, SeatGeek got you. They literally put tickets from all over the world in one place online to make it easier for you guys to get the tickets you want. Back here. Whoa. As you guys know, Lady Gaga's on tour, but so is like Harry Styles, Pitbull, Kendrick Lamar, Bad Bunny. So use your discount code. Also, what's really helpful about SeatGeek is they make it also easy to understand when you're buying tickets. They make it easy for you to understand if you're getting a good deal and they color code that. If you're getting a good deal, look for green dots. And obviously if there's a red dot, it's not the best deal but it just helps you when you when you want to go see your favorite artist on tour i'm not like the most savvy when it comes to concerts i don't go to that many concerts to be honest so it's really helpful for me and i know if you guys are anything like me it'll be helpful for you which is why i want to tell you guys about it i'm not just gonna go see lady gaga front row and not tell you guys how to get your best deal ticket because i want y'all to live your best life i want you guys to see gaga if she's an icon Okay, now we're gonna move on to makeup. It is 2.40, I got 20 minutes for makeup. Also, I feel a lot more relieved. Oh my f***ing mother f I was about to say, I feel so much better because Gabby shows up and goes, where can I do my makeup? So she's running behind, I'm running behind. Does Lady Gaga have an opener? All right guys, we changed my hair because I realized at a concert, I just wanna flail my hair around and not have to worry about it like being kind of like an updo. So this is the outfit. I'm wearing this like corset bodysuit. It's kind of like tiger print, it has studs. It's giving early 2010s, honestly, which is Gaga. So I feel like this is very Gaga. I'm also wearing these distressed low rise denim shorts with studs on it. We're going really 2010s here. I have these fishnets that are cropped on the thigh and then my demonias. And yeah, Gabby's here. We're definitely running behind. We are 40 minutes behind, but you know what? We were planning ahead knowing we were probably running behind. So I feel better. I really did wish I could implement some pink into this outfit because it is chromatica. So I'm like looking around my room. I'm like, I think it might ruin the vibe, honestly. I don't have a hot pink belt. Hold up. Add some more strappy. All right, let's go. We are in route to Gaga. I'm so excited. Uh, I've wanted this since I was like 12. Let's like give like a little like recap of this. Okay, we're both kind of in like black and white vibes, which is interesting. I have like a pop of pink on my shoes. I'm so, oh, you got the pink. We got some pink. <laughs> I'm actually kind of bummed with my look that I didn't have any hot pink incorporated but it is what it is. I was running late and I was just 
scatterbrain. She's wearing like a little one Big Chanel leotard. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have been watching us since like 2011 when we were on the Remake Girls channel. Who remembers like the times me and Gabby would go to concerts just us two and vlog it? Like we did an Ariana. This is like a throwback. This is like a throwback vlog. And we used that's how we started like building our audience like in the first place was just we'd fangirl and go to concerts that's what together. That's reminds me of. It really reminds me of that. We are in the Hershey Lodge. Okay. It's such a nice room. Yeah. Hi guys. I'm so excited. Okay, so we're like staying um, at the hotel lodge, the Hershey Hotel Lodge. Like I just so that said way. that. Oh, okay. We're tweeting. We're tweeting and Instagramming everything so everything far. About the concert. We're staying at this nice hotel. I got to use the. I haven't even checked out the bathroom yet. Ooh. Did our mom just come in? Do you know how lucky we are in this hotel? Do you know how crazy it is in the rest of the place? There's kids everywhere. <laughs> this is the only quiet area. <laughs> this is our mom. <laughs> My amazing mom this morning traded in our 10th row tickets to 4th row tickets. So we have 10th um, row tickets just chilling and we're going to surprise someone and give them 10th row tickets today. All right, it's recording. So we're at the Demi Lovato concert right now. We're waiting for her to come on stage. We actually gave our tickets to a girl that we named Naomi. If you're That's watching, hi Naomi. We're like vlogging. Yeah, we're like <laughs> vlogging. Oh, hi. Yeah, we have a YouTube channel. <laughs> now we're 27 years old going to see Gaga. We've only been huge fans of her since we were 12 or 13. Guys, same. we're gonna be front row. I don't, I really don't think we're ready. Gabby, I, I think we're gonna think be shaking ready. and crying and throwing up and screaming and banging our heads against the stage. I, well, last night I was really drunk at Music Fest and I was like telling everybody that I was gonna bang my head against the cement. I said I'm gonna throw myself I on said stage. I'm gonna sell my soul. I told everyone I was gonna hibernate until the show. Hibernate in an <laughs> egg and be carried into the venue and then hatch in the audience. I can't. Hatch in the audience. The, this is, I, I'm excited to meet the crowd tonight. We haven't done like anything though, like just us two in a while. When I told my parents I was going to see Gaga and that I was bringing Gabby, everyone was like taken aback. They were like, oh, really? That's cute, I know. really? Uh, certain people in my life were like, wait, what? I know, we like, are we like growing up? <laughs> I, I thought you would have brought like someone else. I did not think you would ask me. Well, I'm not gonna lie, like, we're always together, so it's not like, we're not sick of each other, but like, we see, we hear from each other a lot, we work together, I, I don't know, we, we live in the same area, whenever we do trips, they're together, and I just feel like sometimes, like, growing up, if we had an option to bring our twin or a friend, we would choose a friend because it was something different, but I feel like when it comes to Gaga, if I brought anyone else, I would not, like, let it go. I feel like I had to bring Gabby because every time we get drunk, like literally every time we get drunk, every time we're partying, we go back to Gabby's house and we play Gaga and we dance and we know all the dances. Yep. Really? I, I, I can't believe we're gonna hear her live. Oh, Nikki's seen her perform at least once before. I've never seen Gaga with my own eyes. I like said Gabby, just like, just so you know, Gaga loves to make the audience like uncomfortable. So just, I live for that. <laughs> we're ready. <laughs> Thanks for asking me to come. Like what the fuck? Fire outfits. Oh my god. I'm so excited. It's gonna be a ball. This is gonna literally be a freaking fashion show. Alright, we are literally backstage. Not because we were invited or anything, but because we literally are so up close to the stage that our, we have to literally walk through the beginning. Oh, hi. So we literally got stopped to put on these like light up wristbands. They were like, Gaga says everyone has to be lit up. And for some reason, I was having the hardest time putting it on. Oh my God. Oh. This is insane. We're gonna find our seats right now. This is our seat. We're gonna see her so close. Look, what? This is so crazy. I've never seen her. Gabby, yeah, she's gonna be right there. What the fuck? <laughs> Why did you bring me? <gasps> All right, now that we found our seats, we should find Jose and get drunk. All the 
outfits are really, I really... I was just going to say that. They're really giving Coachella. Like, if you've never been to Coachella and you want to know what it feels like, go to a Gaga show. Thongs, glitter, fishnets. It's hot. I like it here. I want to stay here. This is like a fashion show. This is like such a crunchy, like, OG vlog. Like, I'm probably not even going to edit this. I just want you guys to feel like you're at a concert with Nikki and Gabby. We got some cheese fries. It was a little chaotic. So good. We got some tequila ginger ale. I'm home. I'm home. I'm home. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys a story time. I didn't think I'd make it. <laughs> story time, like I said. We are back. We are back from the concert. Story time, obviously. I look like shit, but I got merch. So before we get into the crazy story time, I wanna show you guys. I got this Gaga merch where she's kind of like face down, ass up with these cool boots. And then the back says, I'm a free woman or I'm free or be free. Also, they were sold out of the other one I wanted, but this one caught my eye first, believe it or not. Anyways, story time. I obviously don't go to many concerts. Like the last concert I went to before this was Taylor Swift reputation, which was like 2018. Um, but I literally don't go to concerts. So anyone who does watch concerts that is watching this vlog, which I'm sure a lot of you guys do go to concerts. <laughs> I think you guys are going to probably think I made a lot of mistakes, which I definitely did. But if you're like a new concert goer, like this is just easy ways to fuck up that could put you in a really bad position. Long story short, I was in a really, really bad position with Gabby. Obviously, we didn't vlog it because it was actually kind of becoming a serious situation really fast. So let me just get into it. I didn't bring a portable phone charger. You see where this is going. Neither did Gabby. We're on our phones a lot. We're getting a lot of content all the time. No one brought a portable phone charger. That's problem number one. Problem number two, the driver we took, or the car that we took to the concert, um, the driver, he gave us his info, which was great. We didn't come up with a plan for, okay, where are we gonna meet after the concert? I was really brushed over, and I think that the plan was to meet where we were dropped off, but then after the concert, Gabby and I, it was so packed in there, we were only able to come out 
the front exit and the spot that we were actually dropped off at you couldn't actually access it from inside the stadium and the driver couldn't access that spot either so like our plan kind of went out the window our driver ended up having to go back on the highway to go back around the stadium to enter where we were which was the front parking lot and when he went on the highway to go around the stadium he got in standstill traffic because there was two bad accidents my phone is dying we're on like 10 percent, but you know i think we're gonna be fine and there's still people walking out of the out of the stadiums so you think okay we're fine like we're gonna figure this out well 30 minutes pass and i'm realizing wait like it's like quickly getting emptier and like we're still here whatever we'll figure it out we're just gonna stand between the pepsi entrance and the bud light entrance and we'll send pictures to our driver and he'll find us no he the even though he was stuck on the highway in traffic the creepiest part was that his location kept getting farther and farther away as my phone battery was going down 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 he went from being a seven minute drive away to a 16 minute drive away like quickly and my phone was quickly dying and i'm like what are we gonna do so i seem calm now but i was as you guys know you know we've done a lot of self-growth but like younger me popped out I, I got a little scared because all of a sudden an hour passed my phone is on five percent the last 30 minutes he was 16 minutes away like it wasn't changing there was staff at the venue yelling at him for where he was and cops weren't letting him enter enter certain entrances to come meet us and he also was trying to like come up with his own ideas and his own agenda to try to figure out how to get to us and yeah it was it was getting bad uh, eventually nobody was at the stadium really anymore actually like nobody and we ran into these two strangers. One was a 32 year old, the other was 29. Girls, they were so sweet. They're the reason I'm home right now, like dead ass. They're the reason I'm home right now. And they basically said that they were staying in a hotel nearby and that they didn't wanna leave us without finding our driver because, you know, like we're two young girls. The stadium was pretty freaking empty and people were leaving, including staff. So they stayed with us, which was so sweet. They helped us walk across a few parking lots, a across a few roads. Cause you know, me and Gabby didn't want to do that alone with my phone dead and hers almost dead. So, but I, we felt more comfortable doing it with a group. They were with a group of people. These two girls were with their brothers. You could tell the brothers were getting kind of annoyed, bless their souls. They were drunk coming home from a Gaga concert. The last thing they probably wanted to do was help these two randoms who were crying because their phones died and they couldn't find their driver. So two hours pass, we enter a parking lot where we see a few MetLife staff members working on on golf carts I literally it's all a blur there were these two workers on golf carts that stayed with us until the driver ended up coming but the really sweet part about all this is that my phone yeah it was dead Gabby's was dying she had already been in contact with the driver she had the driver on the phone and then one of the nice girls that helped us find the staff members had the driver's location on their phone and they were sharing their location with the driver and the driver was sharing his location with the stranger and like it was just one of those moments where you like good people really exist like these girls were getting nothing out of this we probably look dumb we probably look like airheads like who doesn't bring a portable charger to a concert who doesn't plan a pickup situation if you're not driving there like honestly like i started crying because i literally thought at first i was like oh no like we'll figure it out we'll figure it out but then as like it started emptying out and we were like we're two hours away from home phone's dead anything could happen literally anything could happen these two staff members were the only staff members that we could see in sight so if it wasn't for like that group of people we ended up finding me and gabby could literally be spending the night at the metlife stadium so yeah yeah and the concert was great it really was great it wouldn't be a nikki vlog if it didn't end in some kind of like drama honestly but i'm gonna end this vlog here i hope you guys enjoyed the vlog i love you guys so much subscribe like this video and i'll see you guys in my next one bye